Most people don't realize that this beautiful uh, band shell that we have here was Ross's dream. It was something that he worked on almost exclusively for about two and a half years. He was a driving force behind everything that happened. If it wasn't his idea, he supported somebody that did, he made sure it was done. And of all the things that the Kerwin family and Ross have done over the years, I think this is probably one of his most memorable and most, he felt the, the greatest amount of pride over it. When Ross passed, it was a real blow to all of us. A good personal friend was lost, our Rotary Club, but certainly lost a, a member that uh, would be hard to replace, and our community did. And I thought, we've got to honor him in a way that is something that people will understand. And I thought, why not name the band show? It, you know, everybody say it's a renaming. It really isn't. It doesn't have a name at the moment. Uh, I took my, my luck around the community. We've got a number of other institutes like the Don Loach Arena that was after a mayor of, you know, back in the 30s, I believe. Uh, Robin Mc, uh, Robinson McCulley Ball Diamonds are two gentlemen that were heavy into the ball. This was Ross's dream and this is what I'd like to do. Is, and I got permission last night from the town to proceed with this. So what I'm about to do is, is come up with a, a plan to probably brand the archway at the front uh, in simple terms, you know, just lettering type of thing, nothing fabulous, nothing grand and glorious, because that's the kind of type Ross was. You do it right, you do it complete, but you don't make a big deal out of it. And I think that's the kind of thing that can honor a gentleman like Ross that we would sadly miss, but we will remind every time we're here that we use the park that this was Ross's dream and that, uh, you know, we miss him greatly.